What is up guys? It is John here with Hershare and I thought I'd make an update to this video or at least do one for like the middle of the month just because Angoro just came out and so much is changing. The meta is, is it's, it's crazy. There's so many different decks. So yeah, here's a little update. As far as class popularity, mages have definitely taken the top spot with secret mage being so good and burn mage still being popular and fun. Mage is the number one most played. Uh, right below that we have Paladin, which still has success. I had a bunch of success with Control, and then there's definitely Midrange and you know the aggro Murloc sort of deal. We have Rogue also starting to pick up popularity now that Miracle has kind of found its place. Druid is still very popular, having both Jade and Token archetypes. Seems to be mostly Token still, but there are some Jades that you'll run into eventually. After that, we got Priest, which is picking up steam also with the Silence. Everyone's starting to play Silence now. It's a lot of fun, you know, so uh, Priest picking up steam there. Hunter is just plummeting, guys. Hunter, I don't know. Maybe they're going to be the second worst class next to Warlock for this expansion, but Hunter was so strong in the beginning. It was really easy to pilot, and it had great success. But now that the, the decks are starting to flesh out, and everyone's kind of learning what to play, what what goes well with what. Uh, Hunter's kind of taking a back seat here. Uh, we got shamans picking up steam also. Lots of evolve shamans that are just, you know, doing doing well, having great success. And Warlock, of course, is just shit. They're, they're the dumpster class. They're just, they got to redo the discard mechanic or something. It's just kind of shit. Um, but... Yeah, R.I.P. Warlock. R.I.P. So once again, all these stats are from Vicious Syndicate. Love Vicious Syndicate. Thank you so much for doing these. These reports are amazing. I will link it below. Be sure to check it out. Let's look at their power rankings. So for all ranks, Tier 1, Murloc, Paladin, Secret Mage, Pirate Warrior. And then top of Tier 2, we got Token Druid. For uh, rank 5 to rank 1, the only Tier 1... Secret Mage and Burn Mage. Mages, guys, the fucking mages. Then we got, well, you could see tier two there, the, the Paladins, uh, Pirate Warrior, Token Druid. And then for Legend rank, the only tier one is Secret Mage. Secret Mage, guys. Secret Mage is the fucking deck right now. Secret Mage is the shit. Play Secret Mage. All right, guys, so I'm going to go ahead and go through all the different classes and kind of just talk about one or two decks from each class that I think is doing well or kind of has potential, kind of caught my eye. So, yeah, I'm going to start with Paladin. So Paladin is one of the strongest classes for sure. They're very versatile. They got three solid decks. Murloc Paladin, Midrange Paladin, Control Paladin. So my favorites are actually Murloc and Control. Midrange is very solid, but I'm not going to talk about it right now. Uh, Murloc was actually piloted to top 10 by Sempok, which has my favorite variation of the Murloc Paladin. Um, it'll be right here. And uh, it actually cuts Finja in favor for Murloc Tidehunters, just to help get early board control because that's how you win with murloc palette and you get the board and you fucking you big dick swing and you win the game guys you know just putting down a gentle megasaur uh it's just dude dude murloc paladin they got the mad early game um and then we're also going to talk about control paladin which is what i actually used to get to legend um it was a lot of fun. I always felt like I was in control, hence the name. Uh, there's so much value. Um, this version, which is Evangelion, I hope I'm saying that right, Evangelion's Control Paladin, it, it cut Doomsayers and it actually ran two Dirty Rats, which I felt were really strong. It also runs Elise, so lots of value. And just, yeah, I felt like I was never running out of cards. So uh, those are my two favorite paladin decks be sure to check those out 
So Seeker Mage is definitely the top deck right now. It's proven by, by the statistics, guys. It's just really good. As far as which Seeker Mage is best, though, that's kind of not too set in stone. Um, there's actually two really good variations out right now. Uh, we got Helix Fossil Seeker Mage, which runs Pyroblast, and it runs Pyros. Now, the other one also runs Pyros, but... A couple weeks ago, no one was running Pyros in their secret mages. So this is kind of a new, you know, evolution in a way. It kind of helps fill out the curve, um, a solid body on two, um, and then a really strong body on on six, which usually it, it's hard to kind of fill out that that six spot in secret mage. So um, Zach O's secret mage to help fill out that six spot has also the Pyros, but also has a faceless summoner, which really helps you with that mid game you know and help you uh kind of close out the games because sometimes secret mage does run out of steam and that's at the point where you lose so as far as druid we got jade druid and we got token druid jade druid is starting to have more issues even more so than before just because it's really bad against aggressive decks like pirate warrior hunter and and token really so um we're gonna talk about token druid and for token druid there's two token druid decks that are very solid. We got Tyler's token druid and Phone Tap's token druid. Phone Tap actually used his to get top ten legend last season, and um, it was it's an interesting take on it. It cuts the water package. It actually runs two Tar Creepers to kind of protect your minions as you buff them up. Then it has Genzo the Shark and two Bitter Tide Hydras. So that's definitely an interesting take. And then we got Tyler's, which is kind of the classic uh, one with the water package. I think I talked about it in the last video. It, it runs, you know, Finja, uh, two Murlocs. It also has the Pirate package with Patches and the two Blood Hill Corsairs. But these are both really solid decks. Um, you can definitely get High Legend with these, as Phone Tap and Tyler have shown. Warrior is starting, it's starting to slip, guys. It's becoming less and less popular as time goes on. Uh, Pirate and Taunt Warrior are kind of just becoming boring and not that great compared to more exciting and effective decks. But uh, something that's starting to intrigue me as far as Warrior goes is Control Warrior. Um, there's been a few good Control Warrior decks out there, actually. Uh, I Am The King took Fibonacci's Removal Heavy List which will be right here to top 20 in legend right that's pretty crazy and then uh a guy called titan titan hit top 100 with the list that runs grime street informant 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 anyways that's that's crazy that these control warrior decks are starting to finally you know show show up like i'm i'm really excited for these these decks and i hope that as time goes on control warrior becomes even better you know as far as rogue it's mostly just the same old crystal rogue not too much has changed i'm usually just running machamp's crystal rogue but um as far as something exciting with rogue that i actually like we got miracle rogues guys i'm really enjoying Asmodai's Miracle Giants Rogue. He actually took this to top 10 legend, Asmodai, and uh, it's, it's, it's a lot of fun to play. You guys should definitely check this out. Um, it's not super great in this meta, but it does find a way to kind of, you know, get into certain spots if you tech it right, and, and it could definitely get you to high rankings as Asmodai has shown. There's also a uh, Medes, which I did a video on, but I think honestly, I think I like Asmodai's a little bit more. So as far as Priest, Priest has been doing really, really fucking good, guys. Really good. Um, Silence Priest and Dragon Priest are both doing really well on ladder. Uh, it's 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 surprising how many different variations of Silence and Dragon there are actually out there that are getting high ranks. Uh, Oskaka hit number one legend with the list right and then bd bringa also hit number one with a different list and it's like they're all so good guys but my personal favorite is bd bringas so we got bd bringas 
which I'm going to link right here, um, which is, that's, that's my choice for Silence Priest, but we also got Medes Dragon Priest. Dragon Priest is doing very well, very stable, ever since the first day of the expansion, and Medes is a little more defensive. It has two potions of madness, and it has a defender of Argus, but I like it a lot. So, Medes Dragon Priest. It's a lot of fun, guys. So, Hunter's starting to not do so well. You know, it's it's... It's not too exciting for Hunter. It's always just the same kind of mid-range package. And I guess the top decks are still Xyrex, Muzzy's mid-range Hunter and Nick Chipper's hybrid Hunter. But I guess uh, the one I'm going to talk about right now is Freaky, 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 Freaky's mid-range Hunter. It, it, it seems to be more like an anti-aggro sort of mid-range Hunter. It does run, you know, the double nesting rock and that's kind of like the main thing. It does have most of the shell as other ones, as other mid-range hunters do. It also runs a deadly shot though, so that's a little different, but as far as it goes, it's almost like 24, 25, 26 of the cards are always the same, and it's just, it's not finding huge success. Yeah, you can get legend with it, but no one's hitting like top legends with, with hunter, so it's just a little less exciting. I'm hoping, I'm hoping there's a new shift in, in Hunter decks, but you know, I'm not too optimistic for Hunter. All right, so Shaman is definitely one of the more exciting classes out there right now. We got Jade Shaman, we got Elemental, and again, like the Bloodlust Evolve sort of deal going on. Jade Shaman, I've been having a lot of fun with Asmodai's Jade Shaman. It has a lot of late game potential and you get spirit echoes and it's just it's a really good deck you guys should definitely check out jade shaman and then if you're looking for more like of the evolve um sort of shaman deck i would definitely go with calix control evolve shaman which is very similar to hot forms so please don't get mad if it's actually hot forms i don't know it's hard to tell who made it first but we're going with calix here um it it runs the gangbang combo guys the gangbang combo two doppelgangsters dude you can hit the gangsters with an evolve and your 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 opponent might as well concede right you're gonna get some crazy some crazy shit there also you can drop the doppelgangster and then hit it with the master of evolution you can hit the stonehill defender with the master of evolution and it's gonna be a pretty good card but uh yeah this is definitely an exciting archetype blah, blah, blah. an exciting archetype right here so um Keep your eyes out for Evolve Shaman and just Shaman Shaman decks in general are gonna get it's gonna get more exciting, I think. I don't think they're done evolving. Alright, so no one likes Warlock right now. Warlock sucks. I mean, you can have some fun with like Ponta, am I saying that right? Ponta, Ponti, Pontus, Pontus discard handlock. Uh, but I think maybe one of the more promising is I guess WTY Bill? W thank you, Bill. Witty Bill? Witty Bill. Witty Bill. I'm sorry if I'm saying that wrong and if I should know that. I'm stupid, but yeah. Check out Witty Bill's handlock. It's not I haven't had much success with it, but if you're really dying to play Warlock, I guess you could play that or just some shitty zoo. Just don't don't play Warlock, guys. Why would you play Warlock? If you got the Warlock quest? Just re-roll it. Just re-roll it, guys. You don't want to play that shit. Come on. No. So as far as what deck you should play, I'm going to say what I think are the top decks right now. From my, my opinions, I guess. So number one is definitely going to be Secret Mage. It just seems it has the highest statistics. It's cheap. So if you're looking for a budget deck, do Secret Mage. Secret Mage for budget. Secret Mage for budget. Hunter, if you want to, you know, have a boring time. Anyways, number two, Token Druid. Token Druid's really solid, really good. Number one deck at Legend, I guess, uh, aside from Secret Mage. And then um, number three, which is actually what I hit Legend with, is Control Paladin. Control Paladin can take control of every game that's going on, right? Like, you just, you can handle Token Druids. You can handle Secret Mage. You can outvalue 
most other decks aside from maybe a, like a mad spirit echo shaman or some shit like that but yeah so i recommend secret mage if you're on a budget or if you just want to do good if you just want to do good secret mage guys token druid control paladin if you're not on a budget so those are those are my three those are my three guys i hope you like my three choices so if you guys like the video please press the fucking like button these do take forever these take me like a full work day to do maybe i'm just bad at making them but it does take me a while and once again thanks to the guys at vicious syndicate vicious syndicate is amazing we love vicious syndicate please keep it up vicious syndicate and uh, you guys should all check them out on the link there and um, buy some of their merchandise and stuff. I'll buy it as soon as I make some money, but I'm a broke boy right now. I'm a broke boy. But once I get money, Vicious Syndicate, I'm buying you shit. So, yeah, guys. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Press that fucking like button and the sub and share. Share would be great, too. <laughs> yeah, but, yeah, guys. All right. Um... Catch you in the next video, and I'll probably make another one of these next month. Or maybe I should do them weekly. Let me know if I should do them weekly. I don't know. That's a lot of work. Anyways, all right. Thanks for watching, guys.